All right, so uh, what I'm training here is my pronation for my top row. A lot of people are asking me how I train my pronation. Here's one of the methods that I use that is easily one of the best. So a lot of people, when, I, when they train pronation, focus on the outside of the arm. Okay, they're always lifting and rotating, which is good. They, they put something over the thumb like that, and they're, they're dragging over. Okay, to me, that's only getting half of the picture. The other half of the picture is the down pressure on this side of the arm. So this spring here that I've got here, you can see really isolates the, the down pressure component of the top roll. And the strap here really gets the rising pressure of it. So what I'm gonna do is simply combine the two. Now this is just a bike tie tube from my, my mountain bike. One second, darling. Oh, you hurt your fingers. So all I'm doing is I've put the, the bike tie tube over the end I'm putting my thumb through the bike tie tube. Okay, and now my top roll has both the down pressure and the rising pressure component. So I'll sit here and rep both down and rising pressure whilst keeping my shoulder tight. Obviously, always good to be aware of where your shoulder is so you're still in the match should the match stop. Okay, I've got a thicker uh, spring as well. So this one's quite easy. If I really want to ramp it up, I'll grab the other one. So this spring here, much, much thicker. This thing is hard to move. Really, like you watch, if I give it my best, that's about as much bend as you're gonna get out of it in a rotation sense. If you go front on, yeah, a little bit more, but again, combine the two, loop the spring over, thumb through the loop. Now we've got rising pressure, oh man, it's tough. Rising pressure. There you go, this is real static max effort. Just to bend this spring whilst trying to rise as well, it's hugely impossible. So there you go guys, that's how I'm training my pronation. It's all about getting a balance between the outside rising rotation and the inside chopping rotation. Both super important for your top roll, don't forget it. <laughs>